What up, y'all? It's your boy, man, from the streets, man, back on the scene, man. Hey, man. I was out here, man, in my city, man. I'm pretty sure y'all know the city because I be seeing it all the time, right? But, uh, I was out here in the city, and I saw some young man. Maybe he was a college, yeah, he was a college student. And, um, I see some shoes he had on. They were, uh, they were the shoes that Moo-Wop had on. Moo-Wop had them on. And, uh, that's the shoes he had on when he allegedly, allegedly, supposed to have ran up on FBG Duck. You know those shoes, the Dior? They made by Dior. And, uh, I never see those shoes on anybody up here. So I wanted to get a pic of the shoes. Picture, you know what I'm saying? So I asked homeboy, you know, he was like, from where I'm standing, maybe like 25 feet away, and I'm like, hello, yo, my man. And uh, he turned around and looked, so I didn't say anything. And I said, oh, I just wanted to get a picture of your shoes, and I'm walking, just like I'm walking right now. Now, he's a Caucasian guy, I don't know. Uh, he looked Caucasian, and to me, he's Caucasian, and um, we got over here. To, to the stop and shop Walgreens situation over there, right? And I'm still asking him in the plaza. I'm saying, hey, my man, can I take a shot of shoes? He's turning around looking at me. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want from me? And I'm looking at him like, I just want to take a picture of your shoes, man. So we get into the escalators over there, right? Into the rest of the the area. So there's some escalators that go up. And he starts hauling ass, booking it. I've been running fast. And I just stopped and started laughing. Even though I was a little pissed off about it because he was trying to cause a scene like there's a big black brother on his ass. Which I'm not. This is my area. I mean, I grew up around here. And uh, everybody in each one of these stores around here knows me. Gas station, 7 Eleven, everywhere all around here. Penguin Pizza, the mission. Owners know me. He gets in the vestibule, stops, run up the stairs. So I get up in the stop shop. I'm looking for him. I see him. I say, hey, man. He said, what do you want from me? What did I do? Huh? Stop it, please. I, you know, acting like I'm trying to do something to him, like a black and white thing. So he runs up the stairs. I bet you I wouldn't be able to run up the stairs in this particular store and run and hide up where the managers be. So he does that. And everybody's looking at me in the store like, what's, what, what's wrong with him? Because these people, some of these, a lot of these customers and the cashiers know me. They're like, what's wrong with him? I'm like, all I wanted was a picture of the man's shoes. They were Dior. You know what I'm saying? The shoes, like I said, that Moorock had on when he allegedly did what he did in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? And um, I never seen those shoes on anybody but Moorock. So, uh... Lost Prevention comes out the, out the side door saying, hey man, it, yo, OG, he's scared the death of you, man. I said, I don't know what he's scared of. All I asked the dude was a shot of the shoes. He's running back and forth down the house. What do you want with me? Uh, uh, get away from me. And LP talk about, he, he wants to go to the ATM. And he uh, thinks that you're trying to rob him. And it was like 2 p.m. And we're in a big ass supermarket. I don't get it. It made your boy in the streets feel a little weak, you know what I mean? Like, we still on that dumb shit? Like, you know what I mean? And this dude's a college student. He ain't from around here. I guess he don't know no different, no better. So they call 5 12. They call it 12 in Chicago, but up here we call it 5 You know what I'm saying? They call Popo. And Popo come around the corner. Now I done left the store. I'm down. Here at the bus stop cooling with my intimate donuts. I done left stop the shop because they done said, man, it's all scared. And I'm telling them upstairs that this was a teachable moment for this young man. It's called this must be talking that not every black man or every person is up to kill you or out to rob you or out to do something or is out to do something crazy to you. It's none of that, you know? So they didn't even do that. So here comes the police, like I said, here comes 5 0 they come downstairs, they talk to us, sir, do you have a problem? Yes, I have a problem. He said, ID. I said, ID, too, my ID, bro. He said, man, it's just a formality. It was a young, young, 
real cop, real cop, not no uh, not no mall cop, real po, real po po. And um, I give it to him. And I say, hey man, this is a teachable moment for a young man upstairs, man. He acting like I'm trying to come, like I'm trying to come kill him and come get him and shit, and some shit like that. And that's not the case. And uh, maybe y'all should uh, bring him to me, or I should go up to him and tell him, and explain to him. Not everybody's up to do anything to you. But the, uh, but the officer, he didn't want none of that either. She was just like, it's all right, leave it alone. He took, yeah. Y'all accusing me, I mean, it seems like y'all accusing me of trying to kill this motherfucker or, or rob this young man. All I wanted was a shot of the shoes, y'all. They from Dior, man, like I said. I ain't gonna keep on saying it, but it was Muwap shoes. Muwap, the shoes Muwap had on. They're not Muwap, they're from Dior. And um, I was a little taken back, man, because it's a teachable moment, man, to show this, these uh, young kids, man, that are visiting from other states up here to come to our prestigious colleges up here. That it's not that tight. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. You know what I mean? It ain't, it, everybody ain't about trying to rob and steal and hurt anybody. At two o'clock in the afternoon, in the middle of a supermarket, big supermarket, right over there. Y'all see it behind me? Big supermarket. You know? And uh, I was a little taken back. Yeah, your boy Phillips was a little, a little hurt, man, because you know I don't get down like that. Oh, yo, check out my new shirt, y'all. I got my grandkids and my sons and my daughter. And all of the money, I don't know if y'all can see it all, but it says Black Father. You know, of course, I gotta have a Adidas suit on. You know how I do it. Shell toes. I gotta run those down for you. Y'all know how I do it with shell toes. You know how I do. But yet, yet still, I'm still pissed off at this, this young man and, and the police, 5 old man, for not even t teaching this young boy that not all African American people. Not all people, not anybody, man, is out to kill you or, or rob you or do something to you, man. That shit is whack, man. He played me real close, man, and I didn't really appreciate that, man. But again, man, my feelings was a little hurt, damn man, because I'm not that type of guy, man. I ain't trying, I'm not out here trying to hurt anybody, man. I'm out here trying to show pop love, man, people, man. But uh, some people, you can't do that to It's your boy from in the streets, man. I just wanted to share that story with, man, with my people, man, from all, all the people that watch me, man. It's just a, it was a teachable moment, and they should have taught him that this is not the way that it goes down in our city, in everywhere you go, and with every person you encounter, whether they're black, white, green, purple, orange, you know what I'm saying? This area is super diverse, you know what I mean? But he was running upstairs like, leave me alone, what, are you, what did I do to you? What did I, nigga, you didn't do nothing to me, I just want to take a picture of your shoes, bro. That's all. Anyways, man, it's your boy from the streets, man. I'm off this, man. Peace out. Yeah, love one another, man. You know what I'm saying? That was that was bad, but love one another, man. I'm out, man. Peace out. Yeah. Mm. Bullshit.